<laughs> Greetings, my friends. Welcome to Minute with Mark. Uh, today I have the infamous Jonathan Budd. We just wrapped up a three-day mastermind here, and we're talking about supportive environments today. Jonathan is actually living in his dream location. This is from his bedroom, and we have our shirts off a little weird, <laughs> but we're okay with it. So if we turn around, this is what Jonathan looks at from his bedroom. I don't know how well you can see it, but it is the Pacific Ocean from the bedroom. Now, when he's taking a shower... Let's go into, <laughs> we do have pants on everybody. When he's taking a shower, this is awesome. So a shower, and he looks out, and what does he see? The Pacific Ocean. So Jonathan, look, we'll actually do the interview from his office really quick. So we'll hustle over there. We'll hustle over there. I'm hustling. I'm hustling, because one minute goes by so fast. We got Brett on the, what's that thing called, J-Bud? The uh, something? Tundrum. Tundrum. So we walk into J-Bud's office. And it's pretty rocking. You got all sorts of crystals and waters, and then the ocean is yet again our friend. So, Jonathan, I want to go deep into your heart. Supportive environment. How important is you've got the ocean? Why the ocean? Why this house? Why this house? A million reasons. Um, in one second, because that's probably what's left. I knew that in order to create bigger things than I've ever created in my life before, I had to step into bigger possibilities than I've ever stepped into before. And, you know, putting down the money, I had to battle with, like, I don't even know who I was battling with to get this house, but they probably had a lot more money than I do. Yeah. Uh, usually if you have the largest bluffside estate in Encinitas. Yeah, so this is the largest oceanfront bluffside estate and the largest property in Encinitas. Uh, in Encinitas, which is yeah. not like a poor person's hangout land. It's a pretty... It was total God manifestation how we got this place. Mm -hmm. But we knew that in order for us to create the most we've ever created in business and life and relationships and health and everything, that we had to be bold. We had to daringly step into it. And by stepping into your dream and stepping into your vision in one area of your life, mm -hmm. it's going to call it forth in all mm -hmm. the other areas so, of your life. We've got all sorts of crystals and, so, and crazy stuff. Did. So just uh, as a parting note, you know, uh, you might not be able to be in a position to have an oceanfront bluff. So what do you do with this information? Just be envious that Jonathan lives on the ocean? That's one approach. That's a very average approach. The other one would it's be, not very effective. and it doesn't work that well. The other one would be to um, add, clean your environment. So you, you notice it's very orderly in here. I mean, it's, it's orderly. It feels good to be in here. And the ocean looks good. But maybe it's hanging a painting, get rid of, getting rid of some clutter, and beautifying your office. So I would say below this video, take a picture of your environment that's clean, that you work from, that nourishes you. Maybe before and after pick stitch. I don't know. But make measurable progress towards an awesome environment that you create from today. Jonathan, thank you. Always love you. Love you, buddy. Peace.